Are you looking for the best soundbars? In this video we will look at some of the best soundbars on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Sennheiser Ambio Plus. If you prize dynamic tonality, this is the premier soundbar, with a premium price tag dot descended from the Sennheiser Ambio Max, a £40 behemoth of a soundbar, the Ambio Plus is a $1,499 indulgence that's not quite as extravagant as its predecessor yet remains nearly as affecting. Featuring seven full-range speakers and dual 4-inch subwoofers in its rounded-off chassis, the £14 Plus can virtualize a 7.1.4 channel Dolby Atmos system with striking clarity and precise imaging thanks to proprietary processing, an Ambio batch physically lights up on the soundbar whenever engaged. Coming from a venerable brand renowned for audiophile headphones imbued with rich mid-range and spacious staging, the Ambio Plus is every bit a Sennheiser. It's sonically expressive without even a tinge of artificiality and technically adept enough to conjure every directional cue, even height effects, helped by an automated calibration system. A well-appointed smart control app, iOS and Android, lets you tweak sound field effects, voice enhancement, voice assistance, night mode, EQ, and more, plus view information on your connections forward slash audio streams. Whether watching movies or listening to music, the 400W Ambio Plus is adept at scale and strength, preserving detail without sacrificing impact, bass reaches nearly 40 Hz. The original 13 driver Ambio, aka the rebranded Max, is still superior in terms of gripping slam and dazzling reflections, and $1,000 more expensive as the Ambio Plus folds channels in more like a 5.1.2. Still, the rumble gap narrows noticeably if you pair the Ambio Plus with the wireless 8-inch 350W Sennheiser Ambio subwoofer. Number 2. Bose TV Speaker. The TV speaker will provide great sound without taking up much space. At 23.4 inches wide the Bose TV speaker is almost half the size of other soundbars we're recommending in this guide but it stands tall when it comes to dialogue enhancement. The teeny, tiny shell houses a three-driver audio system featuring a pair of full-range drivers angled outward and a single tweeter pointed forward. This configuration is designed to offer the best audio quality from a 2.0 soundbar while presenting the widest possible sound stage. The TV speaker won't be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with longer soundbars when it comes to stereo separation, this is physics, not both lack of engineering chops, but it's good to see the company use the space it had as efficiently as possible. You can fill out the TV speaker sound by connecting a Bose wired subwoofer to the system, though the price of adding low end is $500. Thankfully, this augmentation won't be necessary, as the TV speaker sound should be sufficiently better than the audio system built into your set. Despite the TV soundbar's small size, Bose allows you to connect this soundbar to your TV using an HDMI or optical audio cable. It also features an auxiliary input, so you can plug an audio device into it directly, and Bluetooth support if you'd like to stream music to the soundbar from your phone, tablet, or computer. Number 3. Samsung BW H550 forward slash ZA soundbar. This straight-ahead system doesn't get bogged down with tons of features you won't use and, instead, focuses on performance. This Samsung soundbar sports three-channel audio and includes a dedicated center speaker and a satellite subwoofer for powerful, enhanced bass and 3D surround sound effects. It offers superior multi-connectivity via Bluetooth, allowing two smart devices to remain paired at once, and the HDMI ARC interface allows for single cable audio connections to and from a TV with a compatible port. Regarding surround, this bar supports DTS, Virtual X to simulate a system with many more speakers installed around the room. Samsung's smart sound technology analyzes the content you're watching and automatically adjusts its performance to match it best. That also helps keep subtle sounds like ambient horror sounds or important dialogue from getting lost. But, if needed, you can manually trigger a voice enhancement mode. Want more rumble? A bass boost is available at the push of a button. Need less bass? There's also a night mode. The relatively basic black design is refreshing compared to more complex devices. It melts into the room, and you hear it but don't necessarily see it. 
This is undoubtedly the best Samsung soundbar on a budget, though if you want a truly immersive experience, the $1,699 HW Q990B is the best Samsung package, full stop. Number 4. JBL Bar 700. This soundbar's detachable, battery-powered speakers offer a truly authentic 5.1 surround experience. There are a lot of soundbars that list support for surround sound as one of their features, but that's not really the case. Designers can create a more 3D sound experience by supporting the right audio formats and positioning drivers in different positions to mimic a traditional 5.1 surround sound system, but it's not the same as having a true multi-speaker system. JBL's Bar 700 is different. The 46.2-inch soundbar has a pair of battery-powered detachable speakers, which can be placed behind you to create a true 5.1 Dolby Atmos-compatible system, with the bar handling the front right, front left, and center channels. All of these speakers are synced up to a wireless 10-inch subwoofer, which adds enough bass to round out the sound without being unnecessarily boomy. I was skeptical about whether this system would work, but its 620W of convenient cinematic sound passed every test with flying colors. It's worth noting that the bar 700 is pretty long when the rear speakers are attached, so you'll need to ensure your media center forward slash credencer has enough space. It's a soundbar best paired with a TV that's 55 inches in size minimum, and it's easily connected via HDMI EARC, plus there's an HDMI input with 4K and Dolby Vision pass through. Beyond that, this soundbar is an excellent addition to your living room or home theater. The center channel has enough separation from the right and left that I could always hear dialogue clearly, even in movie or TV scenes with a lot of action. The center driver was good enough that I could also differentiate between different voices even if characters spoke in the same register. Number 5. Sonos Arc. The Sonos Arc is a future-proofed soundbar perfect for music lovers and cinephiles alike. If you want to buy a piece of home theater equipment and not consider upgrading it for a decade, the Sonos Arc is worth its admittedly high price. The Santa Barbara-based company, pioneers in the whole home audio sector, designs everything in-house, maintaining every stage of design and tuning. And Sonos develops each purpose-built component with compatibility and longevity in mind. The Ubalong soundbar has forward, side, and upward firing drivers, 11 total, which we found deliver surprisingly good Dolby Atmos surround sound whether listening to music or watching TV shows or movies. Your experience will depend on the size and shape of your room, since the effect requires sound to bounce off your walls and ceilings. To offer the best possible experience, we recommend tuning the ARC using the TruePlay setting in Sonos app, iOS and Android. Within a few minutes, the soundbar will run a series of tones to get a sense of how your room is set up and optimize its performance accordingly. We're still partial to multi-speaker surround sound systems, but the $899 ARC is all you really need for cinematic surround sound. On top of its ability to handle cinema soundtracks and other streaming content, the Sonos Arc delivers crystal clear sound when listening to music, whether via HDMI, AirPlay 2, or streaming services over Wi-Fi through the Sonos app. Bass is present but restrained, instruments and vocals in the mid-range sound smooth, and we never heard sibilance or harsh treble. Again, your experience will vary based on the music you listen to and how well it was mastered. If you're having trouble with how your music sounds through the Sonos Arc, we're almost positive it's not a hardware issue. In our tests, stereo and Dolby Atmos tracks had a very wide sound stage, which made it easy to pick out each instrument in a song individually.